Welcome to Tea Talk. I'm your girl, Nanka Nicole. Today, I am going to give you my opinion on the Wendy Williams movie. I know you didn't ask, but I'm going to give it to you anyways. Hi there, and welcome to Tea Talk with your host, Nanka Nicole. Subscribe, like, and share. Tea Talk, where we sip and spill that tea on celebrity gossip, pop culture, and mainstream media. She'll be sipping and spilling that tea. Tea Talk with Nayimka Nicole. Welcome again and happy Sunday. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you all for supporting. Today, I'm going to talk about the Wendy Williams Lifetime movie. Who doesn't like Wendy Williams? Nice. Wendy is very messy. <laughs> and we love mess. <laughs> so I was expecting it to be more messy. But then I also understand. I also think that um, this movie should have been like mini series. You know, they should have just give us like, you know, um, what is it? How they did OJ like 10 episodes or something. I think it could have gone some more because I think it just went by so fast. It's like I'm looking and then bloop, 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 and it keeps going. They didn't even set like a proper timeline. It jumped from here to all the way here. But the way it started, it started um in the present, and then it went back. So talking about her childhood, um, you know, she highlights um, being bulimic, um, suffering from bulimia in there, which ever so often um, we as black community don't talk about it. Um, so that, that was good to see. I, I didn't even like the part where, you know, she was at the birthday party and she sat on the chair and she happened to win a musical chair, which I love to play. And the uh, birthday girl was kind of upset, but then the chair broke and then they started laughing. And then this should have been a teachable moment where you taught her how to be strong and, you know, love herself and all these things. So it kind of... You'll see. I'm pulling my um, nose because so I can stay on task. You know what? I'll bring it close to me. Okay. So she wanted to go to New York. And what I didn't like in the movie was um, they didn't say why Kathy Hughes then was so upset at her. Like, they just kind of bypassed that. She also um, used, you know, the drug of choice to help her lose weight. Um, there was a part where she introduced um, Ricky Tony. And in the interview, he basically seduced her, asking her about um, how old she is. He tell her he's cute. He invited her to um, his release party, but he had to go to the hotel to change. And there she was date, you know. I can't say the words, so that's what happened. It was just unfortunate, and then he's going to tell her, like, let herself out and stuff. I'm like, deep, you know? So um, she even, um, with um, Eric B, um, <laughs> she, she dated him. Um, he run up, like, her, the car. She rented the car for him over two weeks. He didn't bring back the car. The company keep calling. They had a warrant out, so it's either the car, like, just all this thing, and I'm like, Lord, this is a serious thing. So basically, she was just outing him that he's broke and he don't have anything, and she was basically, you know, et cetera, et cetera. She also was pregnant, and, you know, she went on have an abortion. She did it by herself. No one knew, stuff like that. She decided to move on. Now she's sitting at the bar, you know, she went out, she's having a good time. And that's when she met her um, ex, like her husband, Kevin. And it was interesting that he sent over one of his guy with, with a match, like um, with his number to give it to her. I'm like, how ghetto and cute. <laughs> really interesting okay so you know time passed then she decided to give him a call and you know of course they went out and, and, and there she is being Wendy um, um whose car is it and whose name is it in and is it your car etc etc you know one thing I have to say about Wendy and Kevin that I observed it was very passionate okay I can see they love hard 
they had the passionate, you know what? Everything was passionate. So when they have their argument, it was very passion. It's like, I think sometimes they fight to make up. Like, you know, some couples like to break up to make up because, you know, this thing is good. So some, some, people, some people do that crap, okay? Because the way they was going on, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, whatever. So where were we? <laughs> then, um, oh, um, she was in the bathroom doing her thing and some girls then was talking and they, they, they said to her, oh, are you Wendy Williams, ABCD? She said, yes, they start telling her about Toto and Puff Daddy. So that's when Toto came to the studio to beat her. They came to fight her and there goes Kevin. To save the day as a bad boy pull up in his car, you know, the music, everything, yo, 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 you know, she's run out, she give him a hug, like she got rescued, it's like a bad guy come to get her, you know, like nobody can touch her. I, 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 I understand. I, I know the feeling. You, you know, you feel protected. I, I get you. But Wendy, <laughs> the way Wendy make this, I'm like, mm, mm, Wendy, I, I hear you, girl. When this so messy, I was expecting more, but then I get it. You know, she's very civilized. And although we know her ex is a, you know, in Canada, we say waste man. She didn't <laughs> portray him so much as a waste man, but more like a, a guy who came in and rescued her and be there for her and supported her in a time when she need. So I get it, okay? She gained 103 pounds. He was cheating all this time. She caught him. He apologized. He's sorry. Kiss, kiss. You don't know the whole story. Okay. When this is the part now, she, she do son of the friend, allegedly, <laughs> whatever. She call him over, give him wine, and start having conversation with him. He spilled the tea. You don't know. Uh-huh. I know some people like that, you know. You call them, tell them one thing. They start to... Mm. We ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk. We're going to stay on topic here today. Mm -hmm. Anyways, what she did, she went to glue the mailbox. And she also, like, spray painted the house, Kevin and Wendy forever. So listen to me. First of all, he is dirty. He is so dirty for getting a place 10 miles away from her. Oh... Yo, I would have smashed every window <laughs> in that place. I ain't spray painting no cute. What? A garage. She's like, oh, they have a dog. Listen, I, I, nothing with the animal. Don't, don't, don't go there. I'm saying in the garage, whatever was there, all I would have be on the lawn. Like, really. Ain't leaving no cute spray paint, nothing with no heart. Okay? It would have been smash, smash, don't care. Okay, paparazzi or not, you would have to protect my name because you do that crap. He come home, but oh, um, that was a <laughs> investment property, and the neighbors called the police, and she could have been arrested. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> and when they they crying, I'm like, yo, the amount of pot spoon and pot and listen, I know you shouldn't condone violence. I know, I know. You probably be like, Naimka, what is going on? But I'm just keeping it real. You ain't gonna do all this nasty and then come home and act like nothing happened and you wanna have civilized conversation. And the woman you are cheating on me with you happen to have a house at Listen, listen, this is, this is not my story. Let, let, let me drink some tea. Let me drink some tea. I tell you, I so understand her loyalty to him because he was there for her. He was there for her when nobody else were. And we women, we are the type of species that we love support. And we want our man to believe in us. And if he believes in us and he's there for us, we normally are loyal, no matter what. I truly, I could be wrong, but I believe if there wasn't a baby, who knows? They probably would have still been together figuring it out, keeping it on the down low, because the way it looks as her career gets bigger, he seems like he start getting more insecure. And I understand, like, he, when he got too big for him, 
because he needed someone to stroke that ego. When he met her, he came like a rescue. you taking care of her, the passion, kissing her hand, everything. But I think as she become this big pop star diva and just taking over, like just doing her thing, it was too off balance. And maybe at home, they had their, you know how it is at home, but at work, everybody's professional. I could be wrong, but hey, don't quote me. I wasn't in the people's life, but hmm. Some of us leave experience, you know. Okay. Now, <laughs> where are we? Where are we? Where are we with this? Let me, let me just flip my page. I tell Ali, I make a little notes today because I understand sometimes when I come here and I start talking, I get carried away. Yes. Um, another thing that Wendy says, which I find was so cute, and I understand because I love a bad boy, okay? I love a, you know, like a thug. <laughs> She's like, um, Kevin is a thug with a heart of gold, okay? And I see the scene, and I'm like, you see all these kisses and all this back shoulder thing and all this deep, like, sensual thing? I get it. That's why when they argue, she's holding him up in his face, and she's thinking, all that is love, all that is passion, all that they're going home and just get nasty, <laughs> Okay, they, they didn't show us that part, but trust me, all this when she's like, give me a chance, please, when he put it on her, just calm herself, you know, so, <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, and another thing, oh, this is where I find another one of a good line in the movie, she's like, when they moved from DC to New York, she's like, she took her eyes off the ball. You know what I mean? Like, she start trusting him. She start believing in him. And that is where her dog fall. Like, she wasn't paying attention anymore. Um, another thing in the movie where kind of very triggering um, to me and could be for many was the last of the babies. Like, you know, she had two back-to-back -back miscarriages. Then at five months and, you know, losing a baby girl and... It was just so passionate and I just see the pain and how he was holding her and them coming out of the hospital. It, it was a nice, cute movie. And, uh, and you know, I, I have to say kudos to her because she highlighted it the best way and she didn't bring Miss um, Side Piece in this, in the way. Like she just, it was about them and also indirectly. And, you know, showing the news clip and all this thing. And then the end with she um, giving her talk in the end and saying, how you doing? And stuff like that. And it was nice. But I want more. I haven't watched the docu-series. Like, I, I, I didn't watch it yet. This was two hours. And I could have at least go some more, like I said, but it was good. You should check it out. I'll try to put the link on my um, community page if I get a link of the actual movie so you guys can watch it. But let me know what you guys think. I'm your girl named Nicole as we sip and spill the tea. Bye, y'all. Subscribe, like.